Hello Crafted Shutter Watchers and welcome back to another video on the pa Pond 5 Town Hall meeting that happened yesterday around noon. Now I'm sorry I couldn't get a video out sooner. Um, I just was been busy doing uh, commercial shoots for Grubhub so I just got a moment today to give you my thoughts after I watched that video which was about 40 minutes long. So the video started out, and you can probably find it here on YouTube, of them talking about the market. One thing they addressed uh, while they were giving us statistics is um, the reason why your sales have gone down is because um, there's so much more content coming onto the platform along with artists. That is partly true. That is not 100% true. And the reason is this. Because if you have that many artists coming in, that much more clips in, the real question is, did you expand your sales team? Are you, what are you doing on the sales end? They didn't talk about that. So you can blame the artist and the content all day long, but unless you're increasing your sales team in order to offset all that content coming in on your platform, it's a mute point. So I'm not upset about it, it is true. Here's the true part. If you shot um, someone mowing grass uh, just a simple clip of someone mowing grass and you were the only one that had it on Pond5, you're going to make a lot more money. Whereas, you know, 100 other people do the same thing right behind you, it's obviously going to get saturated. So in that aspect, absolutely is true. So then it boils down to exactly what you are shooting. But I'm going to jump over before I get into that on the new announcement of Hyperstock. Now what Hyperstock is, is a direct competitor to Videoblocks and Storyblocks platform. And I'm gonna, I'm, they're gonna be offering stills, music, and some video clips there. Now the reason why I'm not up in arms about this is because no one on the Pond5 platform is going to be forced into this. It, it can be something that you choose to participate in. They'll probably reach out to some artists and see if they wanna participate. They'll keep it around a million clips. Um, and they'll be lower quality clips and they won't be clips that are coming up new on the market all the time. They can easy segment that out to that lower end group of buyers because frankly that market is alive and well. So, you know, I, the reason why I had a bad taste in my mouth about video blocks is because the way they lied to me and treated us, all of us, uh, saying they were going to promote the marketplace, then lying, then trying to take our content and force us into a subscription model and all that. I didn't appreciate that. But I, I know that the market's going to segment into different sections. It's no different than than cars. You know, I mean, a Hyundai still drives you to the grocery store and a Mercedes still drives you to the grocery store. So they both do the same thing, but you paid a whole lot more for the Mercedes. Which leads me into my next aspect is the marquee collection that they talked about. So between marquee and exclusivity, um, if you really want to focus on the high end of the market, then it's marquee shooting that you're going to have to focus on. What that is, is finding great locations, great models, and shooting the custom content briefs that Pond5 put, puts up under their contributor portal. And I have a, a video on that, if you look through my videos on that subjects that show you where the briefs are, how to use them, and I talk about that. It's really good information. But, you know, there's a, still a lot of people that have a lot of, um, I don't want to sound harsh, but a lot of useless clips on their hard drive, and they think, wow, I can make some money uh, on stock video, and I'm, I, they're going to burn out within six months to a year. In fact, all these spike in numbers of new artists, are going to die down because they're not going to find any money in it because they're not going to be willing to put in the time to do the marquee shoots to do you know the shoots that take a lot of time and effort and maybe even some cash outlay to get them done so there are two ways that you can focus uh, they did not give us any da data on the exclusive market they didn't tell us how it was doing they didn't say it was doing great it met their expectations i found that a bit odd that they did not tell us about it because they hyped it so much but i've already made a video that you're free to watch on my pond 5 exclusive data for the last eight months and you're welcome to look at that it hasn't been horrible for me so i hope that it continues to be well in the future so the two groups 
the, the casual shooter, the one that just has a bunch of clips on his hard drive, or just enjoys shooting on vacation now and then, uh, just for fun, you know, that's the hyper stock, the mid-tier stock of stock, and that market's going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to get diluted pretty much, and you're going to be able to make a little bit of money here and there. You may start off making 100 bucks a month, but as more and more people come on to that middle segment where most people are at, your, your earnings are going to go down unless you keep up with uh, the uh, shooting new content. So in reality, we're going to see an influx of artists and then we're going to see a bunch of artists drop off just because there's just not enough money in it. And there, it's not easy money. You know, a lot of people are so misinformed that I can go out and shoot and bam, it's easy money, you know, and, and that someone makes a sale for 23 bucks and they're like, they, they won the lottery and they, oh, I can't believe it. And don't worry, they'll quit shooting in six months. It's just, you know, it's the nature of the beast. Now, how do you thrive in this market? Because it's tough. It's, it's a lot tougher than it was 10 years ago when I could just shoot a banana and everybody would buy it. It just, it's not that way anymore. So you got to focus on exclusive, maybe exclusive content, maybe not exclusive content, but either way, you've got to focus on high quality content. You're going to have to start focusing on content where you have to get property releases and model releases. And you're going to have to make a lot more of that content in order to make your income viable at all. So it is getting tough out there. You know, Hyperstock is, is the lower tier of the market. I don't know how many buyers are going to flood into that program for them. I'm not offended by it. They told us up front. A lot of people are saying, well, what's going to stop somebody from downloading, you know, 100,000 files and starting their own stock site? Friends, it's not hard, okay? When you sign up for Hyperstock, it's software. So what they can see is how many clips someone is downloading and when they hit a certain mark, Pond5 will get noti notified by the software and they can choose to shut that account down, contact the account owner and see what's going on. So it's not like you have to have a million people to see what's going on. That's all software driven. So that's not that difficult. So they can monitor if someone is abusing the platform pretty easily. Okay, so We've come a long way in computing power. Now, where's it, what's it come down to? It comes down to what kind of artist you want to be. It comes down to where you want to put your energy. This channel is not just about stock because I've told you about I work for SmartShoot. I'm, I do other projects. I'm doing f um, photography projects. That list goes on and on. And I incorporate that into my stock because I've been at this for over 10 years. 10 years full-time, five years before that roughly. So I've been at this a long time. And so you just keep producing. And then I ask myself, I need to bump it up a level. What do I need to do? And I go through that process. So you need to be intentional when you're shooting stock video. That's the name of the game now. You're going to be intentional, not your average grab shot. That there, There's plenty of them out there. Uh, there is a market for them, but as far as it making big returns for you, nope. Now and then you'll get the lucky hit, and that's about it, okay? What I'm talking about is steady income, income that rises up over time. And that means the game changed as the game has changed for me, and the game has changed for you. So uh, it's, a, it's a tough world out there, but it can be done. It can be done to supplement your income, or it can be done as an income if you're that dedicated to it. So that's pretty much what they're trying to say in the market is there's the lower market buyers, that's the hyper stock buyers, that's buyers like me. And what do I mean by that? Well, I buy clips uh, two or three, four times a year for certain projects. If it's a, a fairly big project and I'll go on and I'll pay full price for a clip, depends on what the client wants and I'm gonna make the client pay for that clip. Uh, then there's other little projects where the client really doesn't have a lot in their budget, but it would be nice to have a couple B-roll shots in their presentation. So that's the lower end of the market, the single buyers like me, the little mom and pops that could use a little bit of media, 
but they don't do that on a regular basis. The, the most of the markets in the middle where you know you have your TV, your regular shows that, and they buy up in the middle. And then you got your higher end marquee shots, so uh, your Hollywood producing studios, those are around the world, and they want the best of the best. They want it quickly. They don't want to fuss with low quality. So there's kind of where the markets are at. Now, they didn't have to show a graph to, to tell me this. We already know this is where the market is at because you can look at cars and see the same market. You can see the low in cars, you can see the middle, and you can see the high. That's true almost in any industry. So this is where it is at, and the question is, where do you want to spend your time? How seriously do you want to take it? And do you want to be in this industry? There's a lot of ways for you to make money with your camera. I'm going to go over a lot more of those in the future because I believe it helps me stay relevant in stock as well as um, bring the income in that I need if the stock income goes down. I, I don't want you to put all your eggs in one basket. And I'm not talking about exclusivity. That's a tough call for anybody. And you can test the waters on that. But... I want you to, if you're going to be an artist out there, you got to be flexible. You've got to be willing to shoot video. You need to be willing to shoot photo. You need to be competent at both of those. And you need to have good people skills. And this is what feeds me and my family. So I hope you found this useful. Um, hey, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, ring that bell, get involved, click on the community tab. Uh, give me your feedback and comments below. And I look forward to producing a lot more videos for you. And we will see you in the next video.